On April 6th of this year, the Tigers lost one of the most significant and memorable players in franchise history, Baseball Hall of Famer and Detroit Tiger legend Al Kaline. Please direct your attention to the video board as we celebrate the legacy left by one of the true gentlemen of the game. When I was a youngster, life was a baseball game. There was nothing more exciting than a good old game of ball. I don't really have the words to say, give you my true inside feeling to this about this man. Uh, uh, you got a father, hero, all this built up in one person that is special. And, and I'm just thank the good Lord that he put me and him together over 60 years. As you know, we played together and when we played together, Mr. K-Line was just the best. He, the way he played the game, the way he approached the game, the way he played every day, on and off the field, he was a class act. There's a drive into right center, base hit for K-Line, a run in. There's another one coming in, and the Tigers have taken the lead. What I remember most about L.K. Line was when I was drafted by the Tigers and when I showed up to spring training, here came my childhood hero and he enrolled me in K Line 101 and I just couldn't believe it. You know, he's known as Mr. Tiger and there's a reason why he's Mr. Tiger. He signed out of high school again in 1953. 67 years later, he's still with the same organization. Uh, not too many people can say that in any walk of life. He's like the father of the Detroit Tigers. Uh, you know, when we bring in a new player, a new staff member, he's the guy that comes in. When you come in, he welcomes you. We obviously got to understand as little kids watching him play how great he was, but then the opportunity to come over here and, and manage his ball club and have Al around. It just doesn't get any better. When I, I know everybody says it's the nicest person I've ever seen, but he truly was. He just carried himself with uh, such respect, and, you know, I think, you know, this organization was very, very lucky that, you know, that he, he's, a, he's a part of, uh, of their history. Every time someone puts on this hat or that uniform, um, it's, 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 you know, you can't not think of Al Kaline. Um, that's, that's how synonymous they are. He is Detroit Tigers baseball, and uh, he will be for forever. I was one of the luckiest Major League Baseball players ever to have lived for being able to spend my entire 22-year career here in a Tiger uniform. He was a great person, uh, great human being, so he's one of the kind. This season, and a tribute to Al Kaline, a legend so synonymous with this franchise that he became known simply as Mr. Tiger. The uniform he helped make, one of the most iconic in all of sports, will include an honorary patch featuring his number six. It's a fitting tribute, as every day the Tigers take the field this summer, they'll have Mr. Tiger with them. At this time, we would like to welcome members of the K-Line family who are watching from home, joining us today from Bloomfield Hills. We have Al's wife of 65 years, Louise K-Line. Al Louise's sons, Mark and Michael K-Line, along with their wives, Jill and Angela, as well as grandsons, Brandon and Colin, and Colin's wife, Stephanie. Though you aren't able to be with us inside Comerica Park, we know you are with us in spirit. And we thank you for helping us honor a player and a broadcaster that Tiger fans love dearly. And a man you knew and loved as a husband, father, and grandfather. And now we ask everyone at Comerica Park today, as well as those of you viewing at home, 
to direct your attention to the flagpole in center field, where a flag will be raised in dedication to the memory of Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline. He was just 18 years old when he first joined the Tigers in 1953 and never spent a day playing in the minor leagues. At age 20, he became the youngest batting champion ever and would go on to win 10 Gold Glove Awards and make 18 All-Star Game appearances. No player has appeared in more games wearing a Tiger uniform, the only uniform Al Kaline wore as a professional. He finished his career with more than 3,000 hits, the unforgettable World Series championship in 1968, and a countless number of lives touched and inspired by the dignity, selflessness, and kindness he showed as a player and in the many decades that followed. At this time, we ask everyone in Comerica Park and those viewing at home to join the Detroit Tigers and the K-Line family in a moment of silence for Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline. Thank you. As we honor the memory of the 1968 world champion, we, know, we now welcome to sing the Star Spangled Banner, Jose Feliciano, a friend of Al Kaline's whose performance before Game 5 of the 1968 World Series remains an iconic moment in Detroit sports history. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Yeah, okay, line.